Hey guys and gals, this is David Basin Calls. And with this video we're going to go over the White Devil Snow Call a little bit. And what to say into the call and hand positioning is pretty much critical on these. You don't blow into the snow call like you do a honker call or a spec call. You're actually going to kind of talk into it. You're going to speak into it coming out of the back of your mouth. And to hold the call is the good old classic basin call hold. Index finger covers up about a quarter of the hole. The rest of the fingers come forward. Bring your thumb up to that spot between your index finger and your middle finger, like that, like you're holding a softball. Now what you're going to say into this thing, the, the two easiest notes to get, the two bark notes to get, is going to be the word GAT, G-A-T, and GIT, G-I-T. GAT, you will say with your hands down, in the down fingers down position like that. GAT, GAT. Gat, and you're going to do it in a raised voice, in a higher pitched voice. Gat, 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 bop, bop, gat, gat, bop, 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 gat, gat, bop, bop, bop. Some guys find it easier to anchor their tongue, meaning taking the tip of their tongue and putting it behind their lower front teeth. Other guys find it easier to leave their tongue loose, floating around. But the important part is is that higher pitched voice. Get, get, bop, bop, bop. Like all short read calls, the higher pitched your voice is, the higher pitched the read is. It follows your voice inflection. If you go real deep and gravelly, bop, 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 you get a real, you know, non snow goose sound, a real awful sound. Your voice has to get up in the same pitch as that goose does. The same pitch as that snow is. He's high pitched. Bop, bop. And notice I I kind of draw it out. It's got kind of a southern drawl to it. Gat, gat. Bop, bop, bop. Now to make the higher pitch bark, I'm going to say the word get same way. I'm going to draw it out. Get, get. But I'm going to take the index finger, the pointer finger of this hand. And as I say get, I'm going to raise up on that finger. And then as I finish the note, I'm going to drop it back down. Bop. You notice the finger on this hand is raising up to get out of the way. As this index finger comes up, this finger comes up to get out of its way. Bop, 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 bop. Get, get, get. Bop, 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 bop. Now, one thing about the white devil, the more you squeeze in with this hand, the more you restrict the air, the buzzier the call gets, the more raspier the call gets. Bop, bop. kind of use that to your advantage. If you want a buzzy high note, you'd squeeze in with this hand and work that index finger up and down. And if you want a clearer note, you'd open up a little bit with that hand. And just with git and gat, you can make the sound of two different geese barking. Now, if you want a good, raspy, single bark, squeeze down, and just remember, work that finger like the goose is working its bill. Get. Now, it'll give you a good, raspy, natural sound and snow bark. Now, the two other important sounds you're going to need with this thing, one is the hum, and it's just kind of the same ghost sound as you got with the spec call. That, uh, uh. You can hum at a different pitch, you know, low, uh, then high, uh, and the call, the inflection on the call will follow it. And as you open and close this hand, it changes the pitch too, so you can get the sound of many birds feeding, you know, grumbling along. Now you're going to add that in together with 
the good old snow ground talk you're used to hearing. And to get it in the higher pitched voice, you're going to go da 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 with your index finger or just regular, you know, a git or a gat. <laughs> and there you've got an effective way to call snows, you know, into the decoys if you're in a field they're using or especially like we like to do in the fog to call birds through the fog. We just make a constant ground sound. And you get two or three guys doing that, you can call through birds through the fog pretty well, especially into a, like a roost pond situation or a flooded rice situation. So there you go. It's things to remember is, is higher pitched voice. Get that call up there in the same pitch as a snow goose is at. And get and get and infl open your hands, closing your hands to get different pitches. And always don't blow hard. If you blow too hard, it's going to try to break over like a honker call. <coughs> and you don't want that. You want <coughs> get, get. <coughs> nice, easy. I'm not blowing very hard at all. <coughs> and you get good sounds of a snow. And there you go.